taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital where he died. The video captured by a nearby resident at around 1.30 this morning shows two people getting out of a car and they start running to a getaway car. They were greeted by two others. They speed off in that car. Stoner was driving here the 700 block of South Clark Street when a gray or black Chevy Caprice pulled up and inside someone started shooting. Mike Wilson was nearby and he heard all of the commotion. A whole bunch of gunshots. And then I heard someone screaming. And when I came around the corner, there was a whole bunch of people standing there saying they, they killed Jack. And who's Jack? Do you know who Jack is? I guess that's the guy in the car. And then they jumped in another car and left. The first car, they, when the shooting went flying past that way, it was like a beige van. I didn't see who was in that car. So you heard him say they shot Jack. What he really meant was Zach in that case. Chicago police did tell me that they are looking for a light colored Jeep. That was the getaway car in all of this. But just to jog everyone's memory, all of this happened right here behind me. And what I can tell you is that Zach Stoner was also in a Jeep. That crashed into a pole here. The getaway car was, again, a light colored Jeep. And the car that they believe that the suspects were in, where all of the shooting was uh, fired from, that was a dark colored older model Chevy Capri. So hopefully that. Now, do you see the conflict in statements between the reporter and the eyewitness? He's going by what he's seen. She's going by what she's been told. She wasn't there that night. He was there that night. Well, let's just assume he was there that night because he said he was there that night. He heard Jack, which we already know that's Zach. We already know that. But the mentioning of the van, the van passing by after he heard the gunshots, the van passing by. Why didn't she put that in the report? Why didn't she put that in her statement? And what more did he probably say? You see what I mean? There's a whole lot missing. But there is eyewitnesses. Like um, I read in one comment to say um, that area there don't miss nothing. You know, it's always somebody up. It's always somebody seeing something. You know what I mean? And this is a prime example. There are a few witnesses. You know what I mean? And um, so we're gonna go over 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 stuff like that and. Uh, some of the YouTubers, uh, which I say some of them are genuine with what they see. Others are doing it for clout um, to determine who is who. Uh, I'm not into that. Just to clear up what I see. All right. To clear up what I see and to clear up some of the misinformation that I'm seeing also. So we're going to go on with that. And uh, just, just for review points, I'm going to show you. This is his starting position right here. This is the club refuge. All right. This is the club refuge. And what we're going to do, we're going to leave from refuge and we're going to go to his ending point. All right. And no pun intended, no pun intended. It's just. His ending position, his in, his ending location, all right. His last his last location of this this crime scene, all right. So, uh, I mean, his ending point was at the hospital anyway. So, I mean, if you knew the case, then you wouldn't even think that 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 would be a part of the tenant. But anyway, so yeah, we're gonna get into that, and um, let's start from 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 here where he started from. And let's let's just slide down the the course and uh see what we get. You know what I mean? And uh you know later on we're just gonna get into this, like really, really get into this, alright?
when I came around the corner, there was a whole bunch of people standing there saying they, they killed Jack.